this is an experiment. That's that's the first thing to know. This won't be kind of a laundry list of or a how to do graphic design, but rather this is attempting to provide some share, share some models of ways to practice graphic design right now. Um, with the idea that I've always found when teaching, it works so much better when you model a behavior rather than demonstrate it. Being intimately acquainted with the production process from writing to reading to typesetting to page composition to printing, Franklin knew as important not only what was said or who said it, but to whom it was said. Writing and printing would only take him so far, the real power of print production, like any mass medium, lay in its distribution. You have to keep in mind that the tools you're using will change. Um, the things you make, the products, will change. Uh, the context will change. And I think it's more important than ever that the designer has some internal kind of ballast, something that keeps them moving from one project to the next. And of course, computers have a much more central role in our life. They're in our pockets. Um, uh, and these visual computers are massively networked. And so we're connected one to the other. And so there's a kind of different kind of literacy that I think needs to be uh, called for now. It's, it's beyond reading and writing words, and it's beyond reading and writing images. And it's uh, something more about um, being able to read and write and navigate around uh, networks. And in fact, uh, uh, graphic design as a kind of tool for doing that is particularly relevant.